communicating an anti-Brexit policy in leave seats will be hard. And that was rather borne out when I asked the Lib Dem candidate for that North Devon constituency, Kirsten Johnson, about the enthusiasm for leaving the EU there. Um, demographically, it's 98% white. We don't have a lot of ethnic minorities living in North Devon. People aren't exposed to people from other countries. Um, they don't travel a lot. And so I think there is a slight disconnect that North Devon being isolated and being rural and being low income perhaps hasn't it appreciated the advantages of being in the European Union. But what's the number of ethnic minority voters got to do with that? Um, I didn't mean to mean that it has anything to do with it at all. Just saying that when I speak to people, I am hearing comments to me when it, it refers to race. You've, you've got me in a corner here. I don't understand what the relevance of that point is. I think my concern is the rise of hate crimes and the rise of people not being able to accept otherness. And I saw that translated when it comes to some of the Euroscepticism that I was hearing on the doorstep. So do you link Leave voters to hate crime? No, I do not link all Leave voters to hate crime, not at all. I need to make that absolutely clear. I'm just saying that it's a complex view when it comes to who voted Leave. There's lots of reasons people voted Leave. What's the connection between voting Leave and wanting to be out of the European Union and hate crime? I'm saying that because of the... Um, There she frailed off, and I'm not sure I ever did really understand her point.